Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now in yesterday's one we took a look at The Last of Us Part 1 on PC using the minimum spec graphics card or one of them, the 6500 XT, and it's safe to say the game didn't run all that well. This hasn't been the most well received PC port, I think that's also a fair statement, but, and I'm not sure if uh, the little hotfix I noticed on Steam did anything, but after testing it today with no graphics card, well I've come away pleasantly surprised, or at least more surprised in a good way than I thought I would. So, I decided to use the 5700G, and only the 5700G with its integrated Radeon graphics, because the building shaders part at the start of the game, whenever you use new hardware or change your hardware, the shaders build again. It took about two hours on this hardware, just like it did yesterday with the 6500 XT, and I just don't have time to test that much hardware with one game. So I thought the 5700G is a nice place to start. It's a good CPU in its own right. It has somewhat solid integrated graphics and you could potentially apply these results to the 5600G as well, possibly the 3400G because the iGPU is going to be the limitation here. So the settings, first of all, low, basically everywhere, as low as we can go, 1080p as the base resolution with FSR enabled and set to ultra performance. So we're rendering here internally at 360p. The game is then of course being upscaled to 1080p to fit our native display. Now right away, I wanna say that this actually looks better than I thought it would, especially in those lighter areas. This is a little bit of early gameplay once again, so as not to give too much weight if you haven't purchased or played this elsewhere yet. But to be honest, 360p upscale to 1080, well, it's it's not ideal for most people, I'm sure, but it doesn't look all that bad. I think it helps that we're using, or this game uses FSR 2 as well, instead of the original FSR. FSR 2 does make some improvements over the original. Everything tends to look better. Sharpness is set to 30 as well on the slider. And overall, I'm surprised that we saw over 30 frames per second. I didn't actually do any exact benchmarks today. I have no exact figures on screen in terms of percentile lows, things like that, because this will vary quite a bit depending on where you are. And I noticed that moving from one area to another, say one part of downtown to another, um, will cause a little drop here and there. Now, there are also sort of little stutters within stutters. Um, you could move from one area to another, get a little bit of a stutter, and then you could turn a corner into like a new room and you might see a little bit of stutter yet again. But for the most part, it seemed to be fairly smooth overall, maintaining at least 30 FPS at upscaled 360p, so 1080p with FSR at ultra quality. I played about three hours today of The Last of Us. I didn't get that far because two of those hours were waiting for the shaders to build. <laughs> it's honestly not at all bad. 30 FPS with the 5700G and integrated graphics along with 16 gigs of RAM. Now of course I assigned four gigs from the BIOS to the iGPU. I'm not sure if it makes that much of a difference. I think the game is just going to use what it needs. We were already exceeding the available VRAM according to the options menu. And it is what it is. You're not gonna get 60 FPS, even if you were to use 720p with FSR. I think you'd be rendering at something like 240p if you were to do that. But this is probably as low as I would go in order to retain some sort of viewable image quality here and gameplay. 30 FPS isn't that bad here if you cap it as well. Any frame drops will feel a lot less significant if you're just dropping from 28 to 30 as opposed to 28 from 35, if you get what I mean. But this is a bit of an off-the-cuff video. I've got no script, as you can probably tell. I just wanted to share my experiences with The Last of Us Part 1 on PC without using a discrete GPU. And the 5700G, well, the result today has been better than I was expecting. And that's all I can really say. If you're also using no graphics card, 
perhaps you're using Intel graphics, um, a weaker APU, something like the 2400G. I'd love to hear your experiences or about your experiences with the game down below in the comments, of course, because it seems like this is a bit of a mixed bag for most people performance wise. So share your thoughts down below. Leave your experiences down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to, of course. And hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.